Welcome to another video. So, Google has updated their AI Studio's build page again, and this is a pretty big one. I have covered this tool a couple of times before because I really like the direction they are taking with the whole vibe coding movement. But today's update is exactly what we have been waiting for to take it to the next level. Basically, Gemini 3 is finally integrated into this. And if you have been following the Model Wars recently, you know that Gemini 3 is a significant leap forward in terms of reasoning and coding capabilities. To access it, you still need to head on over to AI Studio, and then on the left sidebar, you hit the Build option, which opens up this familiar interface. Now, for those who missed the previous videos, let me set the stage a bit. This is not just a simple chatbot where you copy and paste code. This is a full-on app creator, similar to tools like Lovable, Bolt, or V0. But the absolute superpower here is that it has full context of the Google ecosystem and the Gemini APIs. This means you can ask it to build apps that are specifically powered by Google's latest models without needing to manually read documentation or figure out API keys yourself. It handles the glue code for you. And speaking of latest models, if you look at the model selector now, you can finally choose Gemini 3. This is huge because Gemini 3's logic handling for complex application state is much better than the previous Pro models. But the even cooler addition here, and something I'm really excited to show you, is support for Nano Banana Pro. For those who don't know, Nano Banana Pro is their new image generator based on Gemini 3 Pro. But it is not just a standard image generator. The crazy thing about this model is that it actually reasons and thinks before it generates or edits an image. It understands composition, lighting, and text, rendering much better because it plans the image structure before committing pixels. This leads to much higher accuracy and adherence to your prompts. So, previously, when you use this tool, it had a general system prompt that knew about Gemini APIs. But now, look at this. You can select the exact APIs you want the app to use. So I can go into the menu and select the Nano Banana Pro API right here. This tells the builder, hey, I want to build an app that specifically leverages this new reasoning image model. You still have the I'm feeling lucky button if you just want to test the waters and let Google suggest a random cool idea. But let's try something specific and actually useful today. You can also add custom system instructions here if you want it to follow a specific coding style, like if you prefer Tailwind CSS over standard CSS, or if you want it to use specific React hooks. As before, it supports developing apps in either React TypeScript or Angular TypeScript. Again, Angular is there because Google uses it for everything internally, and it is actually quite powerful. But we are going to stick with React because that is what most of us use and it creates code that is easier to port to other platforms later. You can also use the microphone input for voice prompting, which is great if you just want to ramble your ideas out while walking around and let the AI structure it into a proper requirement. And of course, you can upload files. So if you have a product requirement document, a PDF, or even a screenshot of a design you sketched on a napkin, you can drop it in here to give it exact context. On the left sidebar, you have your history of previously generated apps, and you can pin the good ones so they don't get lost in the shuffle. There is also the App Gallery, where you can see templates curated by Google, which is a good starting point if you don't want to start from scratch. But let's get into the demo. 
But before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Augment Code. This isn't your average AI assistant. Augment Code is an enterprise-grade AI built for real engineering teams working in massive, fast-moving code bases, not toy apps or vibe coding. It's far superior than Windsurf and Cursor because of its proprietary context engine that delivers millisecond-relevant snippets even across 100k file monorepos, feeding your entire repo, even millions of lines, into the best model available in real time. You get smart, in context suggestions that make sense for your production code with Claude Sonnet 4 Plus Augment Context delivering the best quality at the same price. No model picker needed. Augment upgrades for you automatically. There's no need to switch editors. Augment works seamlessly in VS Code, JetBrains, Vim, and even Cursor. No forks, no compromises. It's secure by default and never trains on your code and supports customer-managed encryption keys. You're only billed for successful requests. That's paper message pricing, no seat licenses, or complicated token math. Augment recently launched powerful new features like remote agents, which let you launch, monitor, and merge pull requests from parallel cloud workers without draining your local CPU. If you're ready to code with AI that keeps up with you, sign up for a free 14-day trial at augmentcode.com. Link is in the description. Now, back to the video. I want to really test this reasoning capability. I am going to ask it to build a visual storyboard generator for filmmakers. I want the app to take a script text as input, analyze the mood and lighting described in the text, and then use the Nano Banana Pro model to generate a cinematic storyboard frame. I want it to specifically use the reasoning capabilities to decide on the camera angle and color palette. So I'll put that prompt in. Make sure Gemini 3 is selected as the coding brain and Nano Banana Pro is selected as the tool, and hit Enter. On the left, you can see the chat interface working. It goes through the planning stage first. It doesn't just start writing code. It thinks, OK, I need an input field for the script. I need a way to parse that script. And then I need to construct a prompt for Nano Banana Pro that includes photographic terms. Then it starts writing the code and editing the files. It is usually faster than other tools I have tested. And with Gemini 3, the logic it uses for state management seems much cleaner. On the right, we have the preview option. At the top, you have your code toggle, full screen view, and the responsive design checker. In just a bit, it gets done. You can see it thought through the process, generated the necessary components, and hooked up the API. If we check the app on the right, it works great. I can type in, and it actually generates a really cohesive image. It captures the mood perfectly. It uses the Gemini 3 architecture. So remember, if you are using an API that isn't free, you will need to watch your usage. However, the free tier on AI Studio is usually pretty generous for testing things like this. If we head over to the Code tab, the structure looks really clean. It generated the React components, the API handling, and the styling. You can edit the code directly here if you want to tweak something manually, like changing the background color or adjusting the padding. It's a full Monaco editor, so it feels like VS Code. In the preview, you can hit the mobile icon to see how it stacks up on a phone screen. It usually handles responsiveness really well out of the box, using Flexbox and grid layouts intelligently. You can rotate the view and test different breakpoints to make sure your app looks good on tablets and desktops too. Now, let's look at the deployment and saving options at the top, because this is where it goes from a toy to a tool. First, you have the copy option. This is great for branching. If you want to try a crazy new feature, like adding video generation, but you don't want to break the working storyboard app you just built, you just copy it and experiment on the clone. Next is the download option. This lets you grab the entire code base as a zip file and run it locally on your machine using NPM or Yarn. This is super useful if you want to take the project out of the browser and into VS Code 
to add more complex backend logic. Then, we have the Save to GitHub option. This is probably my favorite feature. You can sync this directly to a GitHub repository. You just give it a name, set it to public or private, and it initializes the repo and pushes the code. Once you authenticate, you can keep pushing updates from this interface to GitHub so you never lose your progress. It basically handles the version control for you. After that is the Deploy App option. This links up with Google Cloud. So if you have a Google Cloud account, you can push this app to production in literally seconds. It builds the container and hosts it, giving you a live URL you can share with the world. There is also the Share App option if you just want to send a link to a friend or colleague to show them what you built. They can view it and even remix it if you allow them to. And finally, the API key settings where you can manage the keys for the internal APIs the app is using. This is important for security, so you aren't hard coding keys into your front end. So yeah, that is the update. It still lacks a built-in database solution like a Postgre integration, so you have to work around that if you want persistent data. But having Gemini 3 and Nano Banana Pro integrated natively makes this a really powerful tool for Vibe coding. It bridges the gap between having an idea and having a working prototype better than almost anything else right now. The fact that you can access the reasoning capabilities of Nano Banana Pro so easily is a game changer for creative apps. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.